Hey everyone, Max at the microphone again, and today I'm gonna talk about where the heck CSGO on Source 2 is, was the operation supposed to come out, and all sorts of cool stuff about the recent and future updates. So let's get right into it. The last couple of months have been extremely weird for CSGO. Basically, only minor updates with a few bug fixes were released, and the developer's activity in the current version of the game does not leave much hope. However, there are a lot of interesting things to discuss. August 10th marked exactly one year since the mysterious trademarks with the CSGO logo appeared. Throughout the last year they've been constantly updated, and just a couple of days ago the status in the USA Patent Office website changed to Notice of Allowance. In a nutshell, it means that the patent meets all needed requirements and is ready for publication once the fee is paid. The original CSGO patents have been in existence for almost a decade, and there is no need to create new ones as the old ones are renewed semi-automatically without changing the application number. The patents that came out a year ago are brand new, and if Valve didn't plan to release a new product, there would be no point in creating them. Because of this, many people, including myself, speculated that this could be related to the game transition to the new Source 2 engine. These assumptions looked especially good after the competitive skill group recalibration update, which was done to fix the matchmaking in North America and Oceania, a huge wave of WAC bans, which is still ongoing and has already banned almost 100,000 accounts, a global CSGO server crash that lasted more than 10 hours around the world, and much, much more. However, by spying on the developers in the CSGO beta branch, in the middle of last month, I started doubting that we'd see something big by the end of August. My only hope was that they already done all of the important stuff and delayed the release until the game's anniversary. But we all know Valve and unfortunately two weeks ago I was convinced that the miracle was not going to happen. A couple of reliable guys forwarded me some screenshots of emails that listed three community maps for the next official rotation. If the developers accepted some new maps for the current engine, it's kinda obvious that the release of the new one does not make any sense anytime soon. The patent part is still open to discussions, and it would be kind of funny if the release or at least the announcement of the game transition to Source 2 was delayed purely because they didn't have time to legally formalize everything. In the 10th anniversary update, in addition to the three aforementioned community maps Blagai, Tuscan and Primetime, they've also added a capsule with the community stickers, one of which is mine and Valve paid me a lot of money to shut me up blinking twice right now. And the other one is a joke reference to Source 2. And as trivial as it sounds, this is the first official mention of the new engine in CSGO. In addition to adding my sticker, let me brag a little that the developers also followed me on Twitter. And my goodness how awesome they are in the private messages. In public they like to act tough, like tearing down anyone in their way, but in DMs they're like a bunch of fluffy bunnies. Honestly, I feel myself like an okay, asshole for all of the problems I've caused over the last couple of years. And let this be another reminder to all of you that there is real people behind the accounts which may seem soulless. You shouldn't insult them, cause they are same humans as you are. Speaking of spying on their accounts in a CSGO beta branch. At this point we can assume that there is around 15 people are working on the game constantly. And lately many of them was spotted working on Source 2 projects. For example, just the other day one of the developers compared how the Dust 2 looks in the public version of the game and the private version 1.36.8.4, which is supposedly Source 2 build. There are only two versions of the game in the developer's branch. It's 1.36.8.3 and 1.36.8.4. The difference is only one last digit. And the weirder thing is that absolutely all of the strange maps, including maps with the Source 2 postfix, were played specifically on a version 8.4. Based on that, we've made a speculative conclusion that 8.4 is the version of CSGO on Source 2, and 8.3 is the version on original Source. In addition to this, by checking my old notes, I got a potential explanation about the maps with the S2 postfix from my last video. After the release of the Dust 2 remake in 2017, some suspicious models named S2 reference were left in the game's files. And if you put them together, you'll get an alternate version of the Dust 2 remake. 
As it turned out later, it was made as a pre-production example of how it could look if it was taken out of the Iranian setting. And looking on the screenshots more closely, it's pretty clear to me that a lot of the ideas were eventually used for the final remake. The basic geometry of the map was created in a program called SketchUp. It's usually used by architects to create 3D layout when designing houses or apartments. However, Valve simply exports them as a models and uses them in their own map editors to create the base geometry. It is important to note that the screenshots of this pre-production version are absolutely made on Source 2 engine. So back in 2017 or even earlier, Valve at least tested how CSGO maps might look on a new engine. This easily can be proven by the dynamic lighting, player models from Left 4 Dead 3 which was in development around the same time, and by the lack of shadows from the models with not painted back faces. When I ported Dust to Source 2, I encountered the same problems, and it had to be fixed manually by using block light entities. So what if the S2 post-fixed maps that we discovered by spying on the developers are also reworked maps for Source 2 similar to Dust? Theoretically, if they started doing this back in 2017, devs could easily redo the entire map pool in just 5 years. So we might see more than just 6 maps that we discovered. Slimek, the author of a lot of officially added maps, shared his findings. According to him, while porting a map from current engine to Source 2, he noticed that one of the materials had the beach foam parameter. And this caused the new engine to automatically assign a non-existent shader called CSGO Beach Foam to that material. This shader is most likely designed for small waves on the edges of Danger Zone maps. On August 13, Valve posted a new job opening. They are looking for some professional video editors with more than 5 years of experience to create a cohesive narrative and edit footages from finished projects. By looking at the job description a little bit more, one can conclude that they are probably preparing to work on some trailers. This can be previously released projects such as Dota True Sight or something for Steam, and of course some unannounced titles like the future Citadel game or the CSGO port to Source 2. After the 10th anniversary update, for the first time since April, CSGO reached 1 million concurrent players. And since the developers missed such a good opportunity, the next potential time window in which we can expect something big like an operation or an announcement of the new engine is November to December. That's exactly when the CSGO Rio Major ends, the new Counter-Strike patterns will come into effect and hopefully by then Valve will hire some professional video editors. Oh, and I have confirmed information that several people from Valve will be visiting Gamescom this week, so let's see what is it all about. Make sure to check out my last video where I told you how we spy on the developers, and do not forget to support me by subscribing, liking and writing some comments. Until next time, see ya!